All right, guys. Well, we're down to the final leg. Hard to believe. We're going to go Sedona down to, back to, I should say, Scottsdale. And that will be it for us. So what are we going to do to get there? Well, this one, again, <clears throat> we're going to have to kind of, I think we're probably going to just hop back in that valley with the Verda River. So that was a pretty good way to come out. And then we're going to get down here to that Horseshoe Reservoir again. And from Horseshoe, uh, depending on the ATC situation, which right now is nothing, not a zip zilch. But if we if we needed to, kind of by the Horseshoe Dam, be a good time to, to make a call and enter or request permission to enter the, the Class Bravo. I think what we will do for us though is we will just start to descend and you can see we have a little shelf here at 9,000 above 9,000 or below 7,000 and then the actual Scottsdale Airport is in this 9,000 to 6,000 kind of kind of area so if we could get ourselves down below 6,000 you know we, we would be okay anyway but um, that's kind of what we're going to shoot for. And if we have some ATC, we'll give them a call and we'll 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 take our lead off of, off of what they want us to do. Okay, fuel situation. Yeah, we're getting down there a little bit, but we're doing okay. I think we have enough to make it home. Let's switch back over to the left-hand tank. And again, let's go back to taxi checklist. We have taxi lights can come back on <clears throat> we have flaps set trim is set I think we're ready we'll let the airport vehicle get out of our way and okay let's get to it proof that I actually do look at a checklist from time to time. <clears throat> Lou Yamaha's on. All right. Good deal, man. Good deal. <laughs> well, you can't do any worse than I've done, Blue Yamaha. It uh, It's gotten away from me just a little bit, but you know what? That's okay. So we'll stay at 8,500. Ooh, I forgot to file my last flight plan. Gosh, I always forget that. SEZ, SDL. <clears throat> and we're departing here. It's 2204, so we'll call it 22, um, 2210. Again, about 30 minute leg. I think, uh, is it? Are we a little eastbound? I th I don't know. I think we're actually a little westbound here. So I'm gonna I'm gonna file 8,500 for this last leg, and we'll call it good. <clears throat> All right, left downwind. We might be able to get out of here before him. <clears throat> Let's get up here to the hold short line and make sure we're ready to go. And if we have to, we can wait. I could use a clinic on how to land no doubt about it <clears throat> excuse me man that's awesome that is awesome downwind sim the frames have been okay there was when I first got into the area you could tell it was kind of loading in it was pretty choppy but now it actually looks looks decent Sedona traffic Golf, uh, excuse me, Mooney, 11816, we're going to be departing runway 21 BFR straight out. I think we can get out of here. He's still on the downwind. Yep, final is clear. Runway is clear. And yeah, we'll be scooting before he's here. All right, straight out, southbound essentially.
Looking for 67. And we're out. <clears throat> nah, you know what? Got my lights. Sedona traffic, Mooney 816. We are clear of runway 21 departing the area southbound. Sedona traffic. Okay, let me get my bearing straight here real quick. We need to be about 160 on the heading, and we're going to, yeah, so there's a little bit of a left-hand turn here. Again, we're going to be looking for that, looking for that valley. Oh, we'll get to fly through some of the, some of the best parts of this, of this scenery add-on. Now, the guy did talk about how there is a few, few places. He said, I'm still working on getting the, getting all the imagery. And he said, there's a few spots where it's just totally missing. So that's one of them. <laughs> he just says, avert your eyes. <laughs> He's like... Hopefully there's enough other stuff for you to look at that that you won't uh, you won't worry about one of those little squares for the time being. But it sounds like he's working on trying to get some even even more improved imagery from what you see right here, which already looks pretty stunning, if we're being totally honest. But uh, so yeah, uh, downwind sim. I think I think I am. I do. I think I am. It, it was, uh, it, it seems to be, seems to be working well, which is the main thing, and I don't know, I don't know if I've future-proofed my rig or not, but, or how, how much I've future-proofed it, but, um, I feel like at least, at least I've set it out there a few, few years. Okay, so off we're off, onward and outward we go on a 160 heading. This first leg is 33 miles, so you know, 10, 15 minutes, and we're looking for we're looking for that confluence of the East Verde River with the main fork of the Verde River, which will lead us south down into Scottsdale. <clears throat> so for those of you that don't know, I I was uh, I was able to procure a 30 series graphics card and this is the first stream that I've done with it and I have I have everything turned up to ultra, basically. Or downwind sim, what'd you call it? Melt, melt my CPU, melt my GPU. <laughs> I have it set up to melt right now, and it seems to be working pretty well. I was pretty shocked when I looked at the specs. Um, or, or I, my son gave me a, a little, a little monitoring tool that let you know like how warm components are and how much usage they're they're getting I was pretty amazed at the fact that even though even though I moved up to a, a 3080 which is what I what I put in it was still this sim at ultra settings was still it, it was I was 99 percent uh, GPU usage so that just shows you how heavy a sim this can be um, but I think it feels pretty smooth. So, oh, good fixings. All right, man. Um, have a good rest of your weekend, Brett. And thanks again for stopping in. Thanks for flying that 310L, man. I'm going to, I'm going to get back in that sucker and, and, uh, give it a whirl myself here very soon. Maybe, maybe even later tonight off, just do it off stream. Just have some fun. It's a great plane. Your back hurts now. <laughs> yeah, well, it happens.
I'm hoping for just a all around solid solid pattern, solid landing, speed control, much better, all that good stuff here to finish it out to Scottsdale. Okay, we'll pull the manifold pressure down. We'll bring the RPMs back. We're going to lean things out. Just about to 8,500. Climbing a little too fast. Should, should be pitching for about a 105 climb. And I went uh, past that, obviously. I've got a lot of practice I need to do in this plane. There's no doubt about it. Well, JPC, if you have the ability, and I know we can do uh, the, the feedback forms on the different ARTC sites, but I also know that we had one of our club members was instrumental in arranging for the coverage that we did have. So make sure if you if you see him, make sure you tell him how much we appreciate that. This was one event, guys, that normally we will reach out to the different uh, the different controller uh, groups and and let them know, hey, we've got this coming up, we got that coming up. Can you provide some some coverage? And this time they beat they beat us to the punch. I I put this out there, and within a, like a day of it being on the Discord server, I had a an ATC from this from the Albuquerque Center area say, "Hey, you want some ATC?" And I'm like, "Heck yeah!" So that's pretty cool. I think. I think we're doing a, a good job of sort of building some good sort of working relationships with the different VATSIM controllers, and that's always a good thing because we certainly enjoy when they're on, and, and I hope we give them traffic uh, so that they can branch out and, and work some of these smaller fields. All right, so 8,500, and again, we're just we're trying to just kind of slide back in. You can see this little valley right here. This is the the valley that has that Verde River, and I think we're I'm hoping that we are capturing this one here is the East Verde. But honestly, that east the East Fork of the Verde River could be on the other side of this hill as well. Uh, just in general, though, if we head south, we're going to find we're going to find the Scottsdale area, right? It's Phoenix Sky Harbor. It's all that. If we if we get completely turned around, we do have a, a VOR we can tune and, and we can make sure we're not getting in the way of the big heavies. I was happy when we first spawned in to Scottsdale. It looked like there was a fair amount of traffic that was not event related which was kind of cool I saw some different aircraft like some business jets and stuff going into and out of it looked like maybe there was a like a CRJ type of plane that was that was flying out so that's pretty cool too it's, that's that's sort of our goal as a flying club is to promote you know like like if you're down in this area everybody knows about Phoenix Sky Harbor, right? And you're you're in there all the time, but but yeah, Scottsdale is just one of many airports that are right down in this just in this class Bravo, and uh, so that's kind of what we'd like. We like to mess around under the shelf, as it were. Yeah, I think this is that East Fork. <clears throat> so we're gonna just follow this valley down and see where it takes us. Right. If you get if you get lost, that's the old mountain man rule. Right. Just follow follow a creek downstream. And it's going to take you to people. <laughs> 